A lot of clients and women who come to me come with one simple problem. They fall in love too fast. This is a beautiful sentiment and it causes real problems in their dating and even their relationships. It leaves you tempted to prioritize your new man over things he shouldn't yet have priority over. Friends, hobbies, fitness, even your work. It leaves the man feeling misunderstood. After all, you don't know him that well and you're already in love with him. Worst, it leaves you less willing to walk away and hold the guy to your standards. Ultimately, these all have the same effect. They make the guy less attracted and unlikely to continue chasing. Think about it like this. When you meet a guy, he opens up a bank account with you and various factors increase his balance or decrease them. The more balance he has, the more credit you give him and the more you invest back in him. Now this next concept is one of the most important I will ever speak about on this channel. The factors you use to increase or decrease that bank account determine if a man continues to chase you and how high he perceives your standards to be. The first factor is what most women use, chemistry. The problem with relying on chemistry to adjust your bank balance up and down is that chemistry can hit you hard and it can hit you fast. Women who rely on chemistry to make decisions about where a guy's bank balance is at tend to have a lot of problems maintaining attraction and keeping the guy chasing. The reason is, as I said, chemistry can change so quickly. You can have amazing chemistry. I've had phenomenal chemistry after just one date, even less time. Because your bank balance shoots up so quickly while his is still floating up slowly, he feels he doesn't have to prove himself anymore and he loses his willingness to chase. The second factor is effort. Women who don't just take into account the chemistry, but the effort from the guy will do significantly better. Effort is attractive and a man's ability to be a good partner is directly proportional to the amount of effort he puts into being one. However, even women, and I've even had clients who take into account chemistry and effort, have had problems with keeping the guy attracted and keeping the guy chasing. The reason is that effort, like chemistry, can happen over the short term. You feel great chemistry, the guy puts in heaps of effort and the bank account again shoots up disproportionately to his and he stops chasing. There's a third factor that the quality, high value woman always takes into account and it's what keeps the guy truly chasing. Time. Great chemistry is not enough. Great chemistry plus effort is okay. The problem is it can happen very quickly. It doesn't matter what you put into a cake. It doesn't matter what ingredients you put in, no matter how good they are, you still gotta let it bake. There's no getting around the baking process. There's no getting around the fact that you must give the allotted time or the cake is a mess. It's exactly the same in dating. Way too often I see women go on dates where the chemistry is great and the guy puts in a lot of effort. They shoot his balance up to a million dollars, close their eyes, say this is the one and, and that's that. Within a month, the guy's lost interest and stopped chasing. Compounding isn't just for bank accounts. It's a very real factor in dating. We're all so keen to get to an end point and kill the uncertainty that we rob ourselves of the most significant factor that allows us to select a great prospective partner. Time. We think that our ingredients are so good that we can shorten the baking process or even skip it entirely. And it's just not true. You can never shorten the baking process. Even if his effort has been great, if it's only been a few weeks, his bank balance should only be starting to grow. It's that compounding effect. That's what's gonna be the biggest deposit, that compounding effect over time as he consistently, consistently increases his effort into you and warrants you putting that effort back into him. When you think like this, when you're always allowing that baking time and measuring men with that key third factor, T-I-M-E time, you know you're gonna make the right decisions in love. Well, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts, comments, questions. Don't forget to download the free chapter of the book that is in the description as well. Remember, put your comment below, hit the subscribe button with the little bell and the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. It's like a dream when we both get together and free.